Hello, and welcome back to Below Zero. I'm Vic, and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. And as I am actively dying of dehydration, or very close to it, oh, that's what that biome is. Uh, I should not be getting distracted right now. I need to make my way home and take care of some basic necessities. And on that note, I think I have been a little too aggressive about trying to get out there. Uh, I need to get more established. What is this music? Um, I need to get I need to get my base properly set up. I need to find I need to find a ruby, which does require getting out there. Um, but there will be time for that after I have the more basic things taken care of. So I think I'm going to spend a little bit of time, I mean, I'm going to spend this whole episode, I expect, uh, scrounging around um, whatever the safe shallows are called and the twisty bridges. And I'm going to do my best to get things set up so I can be living life a little less on the edge. And yeah, there we go. One of the things that's going to be included in that is paying better attention to my fundaments. Like carrying beacons around. I was so studious. Fastidious? Well, they're both accurate about carrying beacons around in Subnautica until the very end when I didn't need them anymore and it just stopped being a habit. Welcome aboard, Captain. And that's not an excuse, it's just a fact. Come on now, so I'm going to work on that. And that means I do need some salt, although I was poo-pooing it earlier. Oh, do I have a peeper? Yeah. What is this? Fabricator module? Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the things that I should be giving priority. And look at that, I can make two beacons. So let's go ahead and do that too. Beacons first then fabricator module, which might actually have a little bit of storage in it. Just carrying around a whole bunch of creepvine seed cluster for some reason. Vital signs stabilizing. All right. Where am I keeping my eggs? I mean, they're not my eggs, but they became my eggs when they entered my possession. What do I want? creek vine seeds for was I planning to make more power cells I need another power cell in fact I should go ahead and take care of this real quick like somebody like comment and subscribe so that I know what I was carrying around all those creek vine seeds for because I'm not sure I'm going to figure it out otherwise. <laughs> I'm just going to... They don't seem to be rotting, so I guess I can just put them away until I recall what their purpose was. And drop this guy in here. Okay, yes. So I need two more lead. I need two copper. And I need uh, coral samples. Yes. And once I have those things, I'll be able to put that away. I don't know why that turns on. It's like when I load the game, it forgets what I was using for settings. Um... Yeah, so then I'll have my little fabricator 
which might include some storage, which would be nice. And that will mean, look at you being all sneakish, that I'll be in a little bit better shape to go out and do some more gathering. So what do we have down here? Oh, I think I need you. No, you drop, you drop silver. You actually aren't what I need this time, for once. Salt, yes. Table coral, yes. Mm, don't forget about your air, Vic. You're just cruising around down here in the deep. And, uh, yeah, I'll take a couple more, because I am going to want to make that modification station probably sooner rather than later so that I can get a little bit deeper with my uh, sea truck. Stand a better chance of actually finding that storage module, maybe. Ooh, come here, you. Come here. Come on. Don't be shy. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Thank you. Now, let's see. Oh. There we go. What do you mean I didn't pick up any titanium? What kind of crazy world did I not pick up any titanium in? So I picked up a single peeper, so I'm just going to eat it. I'll make a salty one later. This will be the other advantage of having a fabricator module, is I'll actually be able to feed and drink myself on the fly. That's right, I'm going to drink myself. Do you have a problem with that? I didn't think so. All right, need to make some room here for stuffs. So we're gonna put flares over here for now. At some point this might become an organized system, but probably not sometime soon if I'm being honest with myself and with you. Okay. Now we're going to be nice and topped off on power cells. Now what did I say I still need? I still need lead. And... I still need copper. So I should not be ignoring all of these limestones. All right, that's the lead all took care of. Nice. Okay. So I think that'll do it for the, um... Fabricator module. Where did I leave my mobile vehicle bay? <laughs> did I leave it back by the habitation thingy? I think I did. Um, oh, I need to actually craft that ingot also. Which means that I need to... Oh, no, I don't need to craft it. It's right there. Good. And then... Did I need a gold for the computer chip? I might have needed a gold for the computer chip. Yep, one gold. Okay. So I need two gold if I want to make my modification station. And 
I guess I'm going back over to the Delta Base Island, right? Or is there gold down in the sanctuary? I kind of think there might be gold down in the sanctuary, so let's check that first. Because it close. And I think now that I have my upgrade, I can actually just cruise on in there. Still signaling SOS, huh? No, don't do it. I don't even know if there's a third storage module fragment down there. There ought to be. Because how could there be an incomplete storage module down there? Are you asking me to believe that the squid shark ate the module? Because that's pretty silly. Is it just me or are there no resource nodes in here? There are no resource nodes in here. How is that? Alan, what did you do with all the resources? What a jerk. Okay, I should do some repairs before I go not down there, but to the island so that I can survive getting chewed on a little bit. But you know, the other thing that I should do is leave a beacon by my base. Because I made two beacons. And of course, I've already misplaced my base. So, ah, here we go. Good. Repairs? Mm hmm. And beacon. I'll just put this right down here. Put it down here. Twisty base. Feel free to leave me a suggestion for a better name in the comments. I don't think it'll be hard to come up with one. And now, I can confidently go out into the world. Not that that's not what I was doing before, but, you know, now I have a little bit more justification in doing it. Know what I mean? Alright, the mission is for two gold. And maybe... Oh, you know what? I know where rubies are. Yeah, okay. I don't know that it's going to happen this go-around. But it's not a bad idea to go and grab a ruby so that I can make an aerogel so that I can have a filtration station. One gold? Oh, are you another gold? Sweet. All right. Now, there's something interesting in there, if I recall correctly. One of these chasms does have 
I believe, the back door into the mining base. I don't know if it's this one. I know that it's a little tricky to get the sea truck in there. Especially if you're bringing modules with you. But it can be done. Alright, get down there, please. Oh, I'm really, really getting stuck in here. still. That's important. Can you imagine free swimming through all of that? What a suicidal idea. And one of these is going to open up into a little crack that I can worm my way through. Oh, hey. I don't even need to get in there. Yeah, scan it. Point blank. Gimme. And, um, I'll scan you too. Can I take you? I don't know why I take you, but I take you. Okay. So that's great. Ah. And here's my way in. And now I come up against the next problem, which is that I am almost at depth. Alright, what do I need for the Mark II depth module? Rubies, enamel glass, synthetic fibers. Enamel glass is not that hard to make. More rubies I can get. I need more rubies and I need spiral plant clipping. And I don't think I've ever seen spiral plant. So let's just take care of the ruby situation. No, I would like my sea glide, please. Thank you. Okay. He just knocked a rock out of the ground. Don't punch me. I'm not bothering you. You don't need to bother me. Huh. He punched the rock. He munched the rock. And then he left the rock behind. Alright, well since we're here, this actually isn't where the, the expedition I was planning on going on, but since I am here, I might as well do a little bit of poking around. We've got nickel down here, we got loads of titanium. Um... Although I might, I might run out of oxygen. This might be a problem. I think there are plants. Alright, I'm chickening out. I'm going to go and I'm going to get some more air and then I'm going to come back down there and do some more scans. And I'm going to pick up the goodies then too. And I can actually... I can get the sea truck in a little further. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yarp. Okay. Now how far can I push this? Pretty far, actually. New technology acquired. Headlamp? Who would wear headlamp? check that out later. What is that? Is that a diamond? 
I don't super need more diamonds, but it doesn't hurt to have them. So I think I'm good on rubies. I think... Yeah, if I can do some scans in here, I will be so in business Two out of two out of four. Who's got time to scan four whole prawn suits? No, 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 no. That is that is so unnecessary. Three out of four. All right, tablet. No, oh, no. Hey, Parvin. Can I get Ow. you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. It's pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. Scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. All right, so we got a little bit of intra-departmental resistant, uh, re res Entment, resentment. I'm suffering from oxygen starvation down here. But I got me a prawn suit blueprint. So I am in business. Now, what was the other one I picked up? Alright, we'll come back to that later. I am going to... You know, I'm going to hang on to my other beacon. What is that doing? That's supposed to be an anchor, and it's, um... How do you call it? Not anchored. Yeah, I'm not going to drop my other beacon down here. Because I actually don't really need to find my way here again. Um... Unless I come up short on rubies, which I guess is a possibility. But I think the prawn suit can get in the, uh, the main entrance, which is more navigable. So I just need to find my way back up top. That was a good find. I'm glad I took a chance on that. I do kind of wonder, are there folks who make their way through into the mine without knowing about the back way in? Because that's, that's probably pretty rough. Um, there we go. Being a pretty rough. It's a good thing I'm not encumbered by any other modules right now. Come on. Mm, this one is maybe. Now nah, I can make it. All right. Uh, but this one is too tight. Yeah. All right, back down. It's a good thing those things are considerably less explosive than they sound. How am I supposed to get out, though? One of these leads out. Oh, did I try this way? Here we go. Yeah. 
and I believe I'm free. Okay, so I got a couple of gold, so I think I'm good there. I might be all set. Let's go back home and find out. I'm further over into this area than I thought. So I'm going to add a scanner room and a control room to Twisty Base. Um, and it would be nice to add either the new sea truck dock or a moon pool. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a lot of a lot of expanding beyond that, though. Because, I mean, I guess it's not terribly cramped in here. But, I mean, honestly, we're not going to spend a whole lot more time here. So, it's not entirely necessary. Alright, Hoopfish. Uh, you're not very tasty, but you are available. Discovered. So, you're going to get it. No hard feelings, okay? Some bladders would be nice. Peeper is acceptable if it is grabbable. Come on. And did I lose boomerang? I didn't, but look at that. A whole flock of bladders. That's still the, the shocky platform. All right, I think that'll do it. But hey, it pays to be a little greedy, right? And since I grabbed a couple of peepers, you little hoop fishes, you get to live because you're not very good eating anyway. Congratulations. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right. Ruby and gel sack. Good. So, can I put these on diagonals? That was the wrong thing. Can I put these on diagonals? Okay. Let's see. That is facing a corner, so it's not a great place to build a module. Copper wire and aerogel. I can manage that. I should go ahead and reload the batteries on some toys and then I think I ought to spend a little bit of time getting my rechargeables topped off I need a fourth battery well I need several more batteries um, and I need one more power cell on top of the several more batteries and then I'll feel a little more satiated okay good we got a little excess supply of waters now, so I'll carry a, a water around. I've got the stuffs for my... Um, fabricator module. Go outside and grab an aerogel, or a gel sack, and I can make some aerogel. Then all I'll need is a copper wire and hell. I should be able to find some copper around here, so might as well just do it. Instead of getting distracted. Come here, you. Speaking of distractions. Yeah, you're wily. But I'm battery powered, sucker. Alright. 
One more, please. There we go. Now, copper wire. And aerogel. And then I can really start sucking up the power in this thing. I'm not sure two solar panels is even enough to run a filtration machine. Okay, so to make control room, that's not too bad. Advanced wiring kit, glass, titaniums. Alright, so I need some stuff, but it's not a lot of stuff. Let's go ahead and get those on the on the list here. Meanwhile, I'm all out of time. So come back and see me again tomorrow, and we'll be... Ooh, I need to get that on the list, too. Yeah, and that. Um, come back and see me again tomorrow, and I have some work to do. Talk to you soon. It's quite a list.